Hello all, this is JC3 from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? Then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. From the Keith Winsicale Studios in Patterson, New Jersey, Green Hour Media proudly presents Is This Real? Tonight, we're going to find out what's going on with the legend of Sleepy Hollow, New York. And now your host, JC3. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another fantastic episode of is this real? This week's episode, as Dad said in the beginning, is Sleepy Hollow, New York. The legend, the myths, the ghosts. We're going to figure all this shit out with Sleepy Hollow, New York tonight. Uh, as usual in the booth, I have next to me, Rody. Road Black. Say hello to the people, Rody. Hey, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? And across from me, Big Joe. You heard him in the intro. Say hello to the people, Dad. Hello, people, and welcome to our program. All right, so uh, tonight, again, we are out. We are without Mr. West, but again, he's making that shmoney. Go do your thing, Mr. West. We will always be here with you. Um, so we are talking about Sleepy Hollow, New York, and we are talking about the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Now, everybody knows it's a fucking story. So it's not like we have to sit there and say, oh, is that real? Because it's a story. It was written by uh, Washington Irving, which we saw his, uh, um, one of those uh things called pictures no not his pictures Great. tombstone that's what it is tombstone i had a i had a, a brain fart there for a minute but uh we saw his 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 uh, uh tombstone and they had it all nice and autumn and it was it was so nice and you it was know the only I mean? one in that area too with a flag on it yeah only one with a flag i don't know what the flag means but only one with a flag but so tonight we're gonna sit here and we're, we're gonna talk about the legend of sleepy hollow and obviously, everyone knows what the legend is. Dad, do you have the legend of Sleepy Hollow in front of you or no? I can tell you what it is. All right, please, please elaborate what it okay, is. Okay, the legend, legend of Sleepy Hollow is a gothic horror story. Um, it was written by Washington Irving, and it was derived from his collection of 34 different essays and short stories entitled The Sketchbook of Jeffrey Crayon Gent, written while Irving was living abroad in Birmingham, England. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow was first published in 1819. Uh, and it was also uh, published with um, this companion piece, Rip Van Winkle, which is a completely different story, and we can get into that later if you'd like. Uh, the the uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow is basically one of the most, uh, it's one of the earliest examples of American fiction. And especially during Halloween, it really is, uh, it, it kind of like gets brought out again, especially, you know, it. it it's like art imitating life. Some, some, and I'm not talking about headless horsemen. I'm talking about, you know, what goes on in the town of Sleepy Hollow during the Halloween season. Which, if you like horror and you like Halloween, you know, you really should make a pilgrimage to that place. But getting back to the story, it's kind of like almost where it comes down to. Uh, it's an interpretation. Um, it's all about Ichabod Crane, who comes, he's a stranger, he comes into town, and what he does, um, he helps the town people, he helps, he gets, a, 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 um, uh, how do I say this, he gets uh, taken in by the women, he's very attracted to the women, the women love him, he helps them, he mends fences, he does a lot of stuff, but then he catches a, 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 an eye uh, with a girl that he really, really wanted, but that girl was also, there was another guy in town that wanted her as well. And they were basically going back and forth trying to get her her hand. Courting. It's called courting. Courting, whatever. Okay. And, uh, well, thanks, Pa. All right. Smash. And then basically what happened out of, after all this, um, he was driving. He was on his uh, horse going through the woods one night back to where he was staying. And supposedly the woods were haunted. And his mind was playing tricks on him. 
and he thought he saw uh, uh, a guy riding a horse with its head on the saddle. And it was behind him. It was chasing him through the woods, chased him over the old bridge that is still, well, it's a recreation of the bridge, but there's an old bridge in the cemetery connecting two different parts of the cemetery. Um, and uh, Ichabod Crane was um, never found again. And some people lead it to believe that it wasn't a, um, a, a horseman, a headless horseman. It was actually his rival for the girl that he wanted. And uh, that's up to your interpretation to figure that out if that's what you want to so believe. Or if you want to believe that it, you know, it was actually a, a headless horseman of a, um, I believe he was a soldier. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Um, it was, uh, and the, the rival's name was Bron Bones. Right. So that's basically the whole story. Um, it is a frightening. I mean, the Johnny Depp movie was phenomenal. But Johnny Depp seems to excel in all those movies, like from the eighteen hundreds and stuff. Well, it's also, I believe, I believe it was directed by uh, um, what's his face. Was that directed by Wes Craven? It might have been Craven. I thought it was directed by uh, uh, um, the same guy who did Nightmare Before Christmas. Thought Tim it was Burton. Tim Burton. Yeah, it oh, was right. a Tim Burton movie. Yeah, okay. it was Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, and then director is Tim Burton. Yes. And who played the headless horseman in that movie? Oh. I do not know. Christopher Walken. Oh. I don't understand why. Okay. Terrible. Terrible. I have a question. Do you, do you think the name Brom Bones is is a cool name? I think it's a beast name. Sounds like a serial toucher or something to me. Okay. Know. A serial toucher. But um uh but yeah, I mean that that story is is very famous and um how that story is they they put on the the town itself puts on the show i think they put on a show uh every year you know before covid um uh, about this the story and they have ghost hunts at night and stuff like that they Again, do have is- ghost hunts at night they have uh, tours throughout the town um all of the businesses dress up dress up they they're decorated in this thing they have the the pumpkin festival up there where at night uh it's like this giant display of pumpkins all over the place, and it's really, 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 really sweet the way what they do. Well, that town is old in itself. Oh, it's from the sixteen hundreds. Yeah, that town is like like when we're talking about like fucking Puritan time. Well, don't forget the old Dutch church. I believe it was sixteen ninety something like that. Yeah, um, and that sits right in the southern. I'm sorry, the northern part of the. Uh, of the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. And here's a little side note to all this. The Sleepy Hollow Cemetery wasn't always called the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. When Washington Irving was buried there, he begged them that when he was buried, the police change the name of the cemetery to the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. And they honored his wishes, and they did it. It's now known as the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Oh, he put that town on the map. Pretty much. Pretty much. And it is a creepy place. I mean, if you look around you, it's just like there's certain... I mean, I don't, I don't, I didn't find it creepy. No. I found it more beautiful. Like, it was more oh, yeah. serene. Uh, it's you know. beautiful. It's right now, if anybody has never been there, it's right on the banks of the Hudson River, uh, right next to Tarrytown. And, uh, you know, right on Route 9, that's where the cemetery is. Um, that's where the, on the op- opposite side, you have the Lynnhurst Manor, um, which is basically a beautiful setting. I mean, were you there with us when we went that one time, mm-hmm. Joe? It, it was a, um, you know, it's a, it's a vast, they have a bowling alley on there. They have, uh, you know, a place where they wash their clothes. And because we were up there during, quote, COVID, you couldn't get into the building. But it's um, it's quite the uh, it's quite the place to, to just go and relax. The entire town is anyway. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you guys took from it. But it's my third time up there. And every time I've been there, it's just... It just there's something always new to see, so I mean that's my take on it. Um, getting back to the story, um, it's a it's a great story if you want to sit around a campfire and get frightened. You yeah, know that's, that story never actually scared me. No, like I don't know I don't know about you, Josh. Did, did that story ever scare you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, it's I don't know. To me, it's it's it was little, entertainment. Yeah, it, it was it's definitely it's something different, but. It's no. a little different than the actual like things that scare me because I don't scare like that very easily, mm-hmm. um, especially if it's something like like the movie. I, I was laughing at the movie; it didn't really scare me. You know, it was more of a, a I don't know, it's something to watch. I mean, it's a good movie. I'm not going to say it's not, 
But uh, as far as like going up there and seeing that interests me more than the story and the movie combined and seeing everything there and how the townspeople handle everything like that. But the prob not not the problem, but there are um, other other things that happen in Sleepy Hollow besides uh, you know the legend and the story because with as big as that 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 story has made that town, you got to think that. Um, you know, with the tourist attractions and everything like that, it's a hotbed for, especially with a lot of people doing ghost hunts, it's a hot, hotbed for ghosts well, you, to you're gonna get themselves. Yeah, you're going to get ghost stuff because it's so old. You're going to get people that are, I'm like, as you saw in the cemetery, you got, you have, um, you know, uh, tombstones that are from the 1600s. Yeah. And some are so washed out, you know, weathered that you can't even see what's on them. You know, and... The sereneness of that cemetery is is amazing, and we didn't even go up to the upper part across the old across the bridge. We never got up there because, for whatever reason, we were running late. But the parts that we did, you know, we talk about the new part where where you go across the right. bridge. And this. Yeah, we've never gone up there, but the older parts, it's just it's just mind boggling to see the cemetery to, to see the tombstones. See, when you get that kind of oldness up there, you're going to get folklore that's been passed down from mm-hmm. centuries. And that's where, you know, the, the ghost stories come in, whether they're true or not. We, I mean, we, to be honest with you, I mean, the only thing that I can say that, that I had, um, and I haven't really looked at the or, or listened to the audio yet, and I will this week, is when uh, a couple of times we were, Kevin and I were walking, he had the camera in his hand, and I had the voice recorder. And a couple of times I actually felt electric shock going through my hand. And I even, you can see it on the on the video. I know it's got to be on the video. And I'm asking, is anybody here? Whatever. Um, and there's people all over the place. But where we were, I always made sure that Kevin and I were in a, in a, in a quieter area, you know. And um, to see some of the people that were buried there, I can only imagine there's got to be some kind of spirits roaming around that place, I, in my opinion. You know, you got... People that, uh, you know, Andrew Carnegie's buried there. Uh, you know, some uh, some of Hamilton's children are buried there. Alexander Hamilton. Mm. Um, so yeah, when you get this old, you're going to get ghost stories. Well, here's something interesting too, because this comes from the townspeople themselves. They go, the residents of Sleepy Hollow believe the headless horseman to be uh, to have been a Hessian. The Hessians were soldiers from northern Germany who were rented from German princes to fight the British to fight for the British in the Revolutionary War. Although six German princes rented out their troops to the British, the Hessians from Hessel Castle in Hesse were the most numerous and most important, making up about 17,000 of the 30,000 total troops sent. So it has some historical basis to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first Hessians arrived on Staten Island in... August of 1776, and the first battle they fought in was the Battle of Long Island. Excuse me. Throughout the rest of the war, Hessians were involved in almost every battle. The presence of the, Hess- of the Hessians deeply offended those colonialists who had been against rebelling. They considered themselves British subjects, and they were greatly offended that the British would use foreign troops against them. Americans also tried to take advantage of the Hessians' unhappiness, trying to convince them to, to desert. Desert. Desert? Desert. I said that right. Yeah, desert. Okay. In the end, most of the Hessians returned home, but about 5,000 did stay and settle in America or Canada. Sleepy Hollow and the older men had reasonably fresh memories of the war. The ghost of a Hessian was doubly scary, for not only was it a ghost, but it also was the ghost of someone who had been hired to kill rebellious Americans. And this particular Hessian was likely to uh, particularly be angry for having died while in service. So it has some historical. Uh, Seems legit. Yeah, like like you could sit there and go, oh yeah, I could see that being a, a ghost, and you know, having a, like, do you think like that, that he could sit there and say, uh, um, Washington Irving saw this ghost and was like, I have to make a story on that. I think what happened was he took the, he took the legend itself, he took the what you just said, all those stories and stuff, and and put them together and. And you know, like I said, he was in Birmingham, England, England at the time. So maybe he was trying to, to you know, feel a little bit at home. You know, maybe he was homesick, so he wrote a story about being in that area. It's it's possible, you know. Yeah, 
But um, we're going to take a quick little break to hear from our sponsors. And we'll be back talking about the ghosts of Sleepy Hollow. We'll be right back. We'll be back after a quick break. Hey, Ryan. Hi, this is Sarah Palin. Ryan Donald Trump Jr. Hogs to win. See you. Hey, everybody. I want y'all to check out a fellow Marines podcast. My name is Ted Nugent, and I got a call from my buddy Ryan F. Samuels, and he wants me to tell you that he's a working hard, playing all-American son of a b- who is celebrating God, family, country. country. Welcome to the Ryan Samuels Show, one of the top political podcasts in the United States, where we have a healthy distrust for government and mainstream media. The Ryan Samuels Show is a raw, unfiltered look at American politics. Hey, New Jersey and Pennsylvania. If you need a professional photographer, then we here at Green Arrow Media recommend Captured Moments by Danielle. Professional headshots, school pictures, family, holiday vacations, you name it, she can shoot it. She even does engagement photos as well as boudoir shots for both women and couples. So if you're located in New Jersey or Pennsylvania and you're looking for a professional photographer, remember to contact Captured Moments by Danielle at www.capturedmomentsbydanielle.com. And welcome back. So, ghost stories. Of Sleepy Hollow. What do we have for ghost stories of Sleepy Hollow? Dad, do you have some? Uh, you don't have to make the ghost noise. Why not? We're doing ghost stories, right? I know there's some. Yeah, I'm going to give you one, okay, that I... It, it's the sto- the curse of the bronze lady in New York. Excuse me? What? <laughs> the curse of the bronze lady in New York. And this story is going to be brought to you by our friends... Over at Sopranos Pizza in Totowa. 400 Minnesink Road, Totowa, New Jersey. Call them. They're open every day from 9.30 to 10. And uh, their phone number is 973-256-7115. That's 973-256-7115. If you're looking for pizza, pizza by the slice, hot appetizers, soup, baked pasta, pasta, wraps, cold sandwiches, hot sandwiches, Calzones and strombolis, cold appetizers and salad. Whatever you want, they seem to have it at this place at reasonable prices, and they're really good. So if you're looking for the pizza or you're looking for something, you're a little hungry, give them a call. That's 973-256-7115, Sopranos Pizza and Restaurant, Totowa, New Jersey. Now, you're doing all the commercials for the future, just saying. Okay. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? It means, that means you good suck, motherfucker. That's your brother that sucks, and we're using him for the commercials. Okay. The, the, the curse of the bronze lady in Sleepy Hollow, New York, is famous for Washington Irving's story. I don't we know want that. no bitch that's not gold. All right, okay. go on. Okay, but here's another story to local high school. I'm going to try to read this fucking thing here, okay? Okay. Um, there's another story that local high school kids have told for generations, a story that can sh- send shivers up your spine, if I can say it right. You've had okay. a problem talking tonight, so... It takes place on the road from the Headless Horseman Bridge in Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, which we discussed previous. That's the one right next to the lake, or the, the Oh, it goes stream. over the stream. Yeah. Sarah Mashia heard it. Whoever that is, I have no idea. Hello, Sarah. She's now the, now the now executive director of the Historical Society of Sleepy Hollow in Tarrytown. We should have got her on here. You know what? We should have got her well, on here. Well, you know, you're the producer... <laughs> Oh, now I'm the producer. Okay, now I'm the producer, the commercial guy. What else am I? The cup maker, the thing maker. First of all, you're the And what the are you, the gigolo? Maker. So fuck off. Okay, now. Ooh. That's right. You bitches okay. work for me. She, she, you better call for some cash, motherfucker. Okay. Where's She's now wife? the executive. I just said this. But when she was growing up, like any kid in Sleepy Hollow High School, she knew the story of the bronze lady. Okay. There was a Civil War general named Samuel Thomas. Who had made millions of dollars in coal. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Okay. When he died in 1903, his widow Anne had him laid to rest in mausoleum at the top of Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. You left your keys. I okay. Get get and I think that's about it. <laughs> oh, okay. So that was the story, Dad? Thanks. I can't. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, Here continue. we go. I continue reading button. I'm sorry. You know? We have to hit the button. I have to fucking hit you in the head. <laughs> 
Okay, Anne didn't think the mausoleum was enough to mark the memory of her millionaire husband. She wanted something more. I've re- I seen this. I'm looking at a picture of it right now. And yes, I saw it. She wanted a sculpture to adorn Samuel's grave. She reached out to Samuel O'Connor Jr., top-notch sculpture of the day. Uh, let's see. O'Connor's creation was larger than life, a bronze woman seated across from the general's crypt. The bronze lady was huge, her hands cupped at her knee, her bare right foot poked from beneath her gown, her lips were pursed, her eyes were downcast. She looked sad, mournful, and waiting. Okay, I'm going to just, you know, try to get to the meat of the story here. How old is that bitch? Uh, I'm not really sure. She's looking out a door. Right, okay. What the fuck? That's kind yeah, of the point kind of, of the creepy. story. Um, yeah, but like, it, does she move? Like, is she like one of the weeping? Is it weeping angels? Yeah, I thought that was pretty creepy, and now I'm no. Oh, man, oh, what's what's the story? This. Like, did, did she move? I'm what trying to get to the rest of it. You come fuck. on! I understand you're 70 years old and you don't know how to use a fucking computer. Can you hurry up? <laughs> oh, basically, she oh, went oh. boo, and people were scared. Oh, okay. So that's it. You know what? That you're a jerk off. Okay, when she was fucking entombed next to her husband in 1944, having la- lived nearly a hundred years, here's all the mourners passed by the bronze lady she had insulted. Okay, maybe it was that the insult that led to the bronze lady's reputation for spookiness, as if she wanted to injure herself. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is like really all over the place here. Uh, Thank you for the story, Dad. Uh, you know, go fuck yourself. No, I'll just you. read the commercials. You do this. Okay. Okay. So- the Bronze Lady, obviously, if you if you if you know the place, and I'm looking at the pictures right now of this chick, and um, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but you, gotta. you know she's she's staring at a at I'm guessing her husband's tomb, right? Is that uh-huh. what it is? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yes. Right. Um, I don't know what the ending of that story is, so I don't know <laughs> if the Bronze Lady is moving or if it's just because she's creepy looking because that's not really a ghost story it's not like the ghost is saying come here that stand what here and watch it's, our it's, tomb no what it is it is is the kids come by to this bronze lady and they sit on her lap okay i oh, know she ain't saying that i ain't doing that okay shit. one story is if you hop up on a bronze lady's lap and jump up and down spin around three times and look at her then you're cursed oh okay <laughs> i'm going to do all that fuck out of here well, it's it only bronze, times. Joe. You're not going to be able to sit on her lap. Another one is if you sit on her lap, and I guess if you look at her long enough, then you get up and then jump and uh, walk up to the door and look through the keyhole, you could possibly see a ghost through the keyhole. It's another tale, <laughs> which is... I don't, know why, I don't know why you would and I, I mean, none sit. of this shit's been proven, but... I, I, I love this shit. People literally will sit there. It's It's like sit there and go, okay, I'm going to sit on this bitch's lap and then I'm going to spin three times in a circle and then I'm going to jump up and down and then I'm going to roll down the hill and then I'm going to sing to the moon. Like, bro, calm the fuck down. Stop putting shit out there. Am I right or am I right? No. Okay, so I'm not right, but... but it's yeah. just, this is like everything else. It's like the legend of Annie's Road over in Totowa. It's the same thing. They're, they're legends. Now, whether they're based in fact or reality, we don't know. Okay, it, it, that's well. That's why they call it the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. You know, it's the same fucking shit. So you're not sitting here like knowing if it's real or not. Obviously, it's if it hasn't been proven or we haven't even had fucking pictures of or anything like that. Like I really, really, it's so weak, so weak to sit there and actually like. Sleepy Hollow is a nice place to visit. Let me ask you a question: Would you go up to Sleepy Hollow sometime and walk through it at night? If I took you right up there right now, now it's nine eighteen on a Thursday night. You're talking about by myself? Or? Right by yourself. Well, I wouldn't walk through a regular cemetery by myself. Why not? Well, because I believe in ghosts, and I believe you can attach yourself with ghosts, but I'm not going to sit there and say, you know, the bronze woman stared at me when I jumped up and down like a puppy, chased my tail, rolled down the hill, yelled at the moon. No, it's, you know, it's it's not any of that. It's like you're you're sitting there asking for shit to happen to you when you do stuff like that. Right. It's like playing with a Ouija board. It's well, no, not really, because a Ouija board is totally different. Please don't get too confused. No, but what I'm saying is, you're asking for something to happen. You're not just. It's not like something uh, turn around, like oh, I caught that in the, the corner of my eye, or, or you know, I was sitting there and I tell you something what, touched I, my hand. Right, I, okay, so but she, when you sit there and you know, I'm gonna jump up and down in her lap and I'm gonna spin in place three times so and you then don't go look at the key. It. You don't believe it. No. Okay. So if I was to take you up to that cemetery now and you just say to you, Joey, I want you to go sit by that, that statue for half an hour and just sit there, and then I'll come and get you. Would you do it? Yeah, sure, why not? 
You would do it at night. Yeah, sure. You're not? so full of fucking shit. It's coming out of your goddamn ear. You can't even put your, <laughs> your your earphones are just brown shit coming out of the side. No, I, I, Get I the would, fuck out of here. I would do that. Get the fuck out of here. But yet you won't go through a regular cemetery. No, you would, believe in ghosts. Okay, first of all, I you, you, there's there's a difference here. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and and say I would like. But would it be talking about just... Get your words out, Joe. Would it be talking about just her, talking about her legend? Or is it just the cemetery in general? Because, no, I wouldn't sit in a regular cemetery or just any cemetery in general if you're talking about it. But if it do, if you're saying, I believe in this particular legend about the bitch and sitting on her lap and the bronze lady, no, I don't believe it. All right, so you know what? Saturday afternoon, we're going to go back up to Tarrytown. Okay. And I want you to sit on her lap, poor woman, and I want you to then sit there and... and Basically, do what they're telling you to do. No, sit I, on lap. I wouldn't do that. Why? Because it's stupid. No, why not? You want to debunk it. I want you to debunk it, Mister Debunker. Okay. So you'll do it. Fine. Okay. I need video of this. Okay. Try Wait. not to give anybody in our in our department of video recording a video because you won't get the very good video for that. Uh, let's cut the bullshit, okay? Let's cut the shit right now before I go off on you. Now, here's the deal. All right, we're gonna get this on video. I want you on her. I want you on her lap, and I want you to go through, read the whole fucking story. And I want you to sit there. Well, and, which one? Because I don't want to be cursed. Oh, you why? But it's but it's fake. If you know, but if you sit there, no, I'll, no, wait a minute. It's, you just said there's two different you know, ones though. Oh, so you believe which one now? Which one do you believe? I'll sit. I'll sit there, and because I don't, I don't do anything that could sit there and potentially be a curse. Because I do believe in curses. Oh, now you believe in curse. Is, but it, this, is he backtracking here? No, I'm or not I backtracking. Crazy? I would sit there and do the one <laughs> where you look in the keyhole and you might see a ghost. Okay. But you still have to sit in her lap first. Okay, but it's not the one that is, it's not like I have to sit there and rub her nipple and then, you know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Can we get on to the next fucking thing? Because you were Do we stuck have another that, next story? Like, or? Yeah, there's a ton of them out there. Yeah. All right. You say, that, you say that every week. There's a ton of them, but you never can bring one to the table. Well, I br- <laughs> You just bring one. Bring? Yeah. Brought? Okay, in. Okay. <sighs> there was a story. I'll Do be you honest. Have one? The pizza place might not want. To be a sponsor anymore after this episode. <laughs> At least for this episode, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I gotta eat pizza and listen to that. That's indigestion. <laughs> uh, well, come on, I gave you one. Now why don't you give me one? Yeah, I wasn't Joey. really looking for one, but I'll, I, I'll... I could be on, totally honest with you, though, Joe. I would not. Uh, it's that's a difficult place to walk through when the sun is shining. It's fucking creepy. Well, I don't know about creepy. It's there's a lot of hills. <sighs> Me and Josh were definitely huffing and puffing. Uh, speak for yourself. Well, you know, shut up. You were huffing and puffing. I was uh, fine. You know, I, look, I'm not going to get into the fact that you and whatever Josh were huffing and I don't know, and I wasn't there. But it is a creepy place. It's very mysterious. You know, the tombs are like every different kind. There's, you know, you got you got tall ones. I looked into a a, a mausoleum because a lot of them, you know, the older ones. The glass and the doors are broken now. You can actually see into the mausoleum. Can we, can, we, can we talk about that one statue? Or no, it's not a statue. It's an actual... I'm going to call it... Uh, uh, cause it looks like a political campaign poster. The guy's head, and then you had like a seashell behind him, and his wife was weeping on, 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 on the, the bottom yeah, of that. Yeah, I don't know, remember the guy's name, but he was a tycoon, uh, a cleaning tycoon. He had, he had a... Um, dry cleaners and when he died his wife i guess died later or whatever and it turned out that she supposedly That's all i got goes to um his grave every night at the same time and that's gonna that's they have this statue of her uh leaning with her head in her hands on his tombstone you know and that's supposedly um what she does every night i don't know um, I'm sure, and I, I mean, there's, there's so many different ones here. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Bronze Lady, we already covered. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I, I mean, I don't. Yeah, look, I tried, but I just kept getting results for the actual story of Sleepy Yeah, Hollow. and then the, brom- la- the Bronze Lady. I, that, that's new to me, like, I've never even heard of that before. Well, yeah, it's, it's, although the cemetery itself, I think, was beautiful during the day, but I was slightly disappointed because of how popular it seemed. 
I'm like, we went there for some creepy shit, and yet it was more like a field trip than anything else. It, it kind of was, but again, I, I still don't know what happened with the, the electric thing that we had. But um, you don't have arthritis, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted this wrapped up by eight, nine, nine thirty-eight. It might be real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, check I us. Help fucking out. check us. I heard you say Where? you had electricity run through your hands. I'm like, <sighs> did did like the battery get faulty? Did he well, get shock or something? We're, we're gonna we're gonna take our our second break here, and then we'll wrap this episode up, and we'll sit there and talk about whether we believe these stories are true or not. Yay! We'll be right back, guys. Green Arrow Media has partnered up with StepUpWellness.com. Are you looking for a program to help support a healthy lifestyle? It's never too late for a healthy change, believe me. Today is your lucky day. Check out StepUpWellness.com. It has over 500 different products to choose from, all with your health in mind. They have supplements and vitamins, protein bars and shakes and powders and drinks, Anything that's going to go into your body to make you feel better and live better, StepUpWellness.com has it. If you're in the market for online health, wellness, and fitness products, then look no further. Go to StepUpWellness.com today. We'll be back after a quick break. Hello, nerds. Come listen to the History Nerds United podcast, and let's make history fun again. We interview today's best authors, whether they are established Pulitzer Prize winners or someone debuting their first book. Let us show you that history is not a boring class you took in high school, but a place where the best stories come from. And we don't just cover history. We also love to chat about true crime, biographies, memoirs, and so much more. So head on over to History Nerds United and let us introduce you to your new favorite book and learn the story behind the story. History. And welcome back to our to you faithful faithful listeners for getting through this with us. Um, we are going to get you know this episode over with because you know it's the end of our Halloween you know uh, month. It's the end of our Halloween episodes. Uh, Sunday is Halloween. Sunday when this episode debuts, it's Halloween. Uh, Sunday will be another Whoa. Jets loss. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard that the guy just threw three more interceptions last night, and they yeah. didn't even play. Um, and we're gonna get back to our season four B, which is gonna be our government conspiracies next week, and that's gonna be uh, the Bilderberg Group is gonna be our first episode back into our um, government conspiracy episodes, which I'm excited to get back into our government Thank conspiracy God. episodes. Absolutely, uh, because you know, I'll be honest, Halloween does take a toll. Starts to get a little like okay, let's get through this shit. But let us get back to whether we believe these stories or not. Now, granted, it's not going to be the legend of Sleepy Hollow because we all know, again, it's actual. <laughs> it's it's a fictitious a fictitious tale. We know that it was a story written by Washington Irving. Like we said that a million times today. So, do you believe in the little haunts? Or the little stories that we kind of read. Uh, I'm just going to... Bronze Lady, I'm not even putting it out there. Because fuck her. Uh, okay. But there's a little little things that, that we didn't mention. But they're all like you know feelings and whispers within the cemetery. Now, do you believe in that energy? Or is it just, you know, you know the, the legend and it, well, people you're sitting me, there? <clears throat> if you're asking me that question, I can't say that I, I wholeheartedly believe it. I do believe that... Um, if some people have heard it, and had, it would need further investigation, mm. I, can't, I can't. I mean, I've been at that cemetery now three times. I've walked it pretty extensively. Um, I've felt creepiness, but it's a cemetery. It's an old cemetery. Um, I can't say I've I heard whispers. I can't say I had been touched. I can't say any of that. But what I can say is, uh, because of my uh, it's my assuming arthritis that I have, <laughs> the the um, the voice recorder that I had gave me electric shock, shock you know, because Chrome the Dome over there had to bust my fucking balls. Maybe the voice recorder is short circuited. Maybe, but I can't say. But I, do I do I believe it's possible? Absolutely. 
Um, but I can't say that I can. Uh, I have 100 percent proof because it's not happened to me. But it, uh, it again, you know, maybe more time we spend up there, maybe we can. Okay. And we haven't. We again, we didn't do go go through our, our audio on those things, which no, I will go not. this weekend. Um, you know, we'll report back next weekend before our show. Um, if in fact, you know. Okay, so I'll, I'll. Do you believe in the bronze lady story? No, I believe that's just a legend. I, I don't. Do you think the Sleepy Hollow story has some truth into it, though? No, I, I just think it was basically uh, um, a good author putting together putting together tales um, from a certain area and made a really good story out of it. But it's and it comes down to basically as a scorned. You know, it's it seems to me it's a scorned lover story. That's what it comes. That's what I think. All right, Mister Ten Words in an episode. What did uh? And don't give us a West answer because I know I know you. That's I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Do you believe in uh, haunts of the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery or Sleepy Hollow? You must Hollow be out of your goddamn mind. Get <laughs> <laughs> close enough, also be like hell no. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Uh, to be honest. Uh, part of me was actually kind of hoping something would happen. I, I have a for question the, for you, though. The, I got a question you know, for, for, yeah. for you, Mr. Roadblock. If, in fact, we listen to that stuff and there are whispers and it comes back to where I'm the only one holding this thing. Now, if it comes back to where you hear whispers or when I ask a question, somebody answers. What's going to be your reaction? Holy shit. No, <laughs> now his reaction would be like, you know there's people inside the cemetery that that could be, right? Well, that's well, that was going to be what led to a murder. I mean, <laughs> my point I was going to say before you asked me that question, Dad, I said earlier that I was disappointed because I wanted to see some spooky shit if it was real. Right. Granted, we went during the day. Obviously, not a lot of shit's going to happen. There's going to be way too many people around. You can hear voices from halfway across the cemetery, you know, little kids yelling, stuff like that. I personally wouldn't mind going at night to try and actually try and capture something. Yeah. I don't know if they'll give us permission to do that. I, I mean, I can, we have to be yeah. big enough. <laughs> I can inquire. I mean, we can we can do a, a live event from there if you'd like. But I got they'd have to give us permission. Well, we have the yeah. It was kind of I weird. Mean, obviously, obviously, we say... have the uh, equipment to do that since yeah. we did our remote from outside. Yeah, uh, didn't uh, wasn't it like it did, it was only open until like four thirty or four thirty? Yeah, unfortunately, because what they did was they, they most of their stuff happens around this time of year. Yeah, and it gets dark at five. They want people off the premises by then. Will they give us special permission? I, I I don't know. I can only inquire, and I will. Yeah. You know, but uh, to be honest with you, if we're going to do that and they do give us permission, yeah, then you know we're only going to be doing this with about four people. Yeah. Now you saw how big that place was. Yeah, it's huge. Okay, and that's like being in. I don't know if you ever in the woods in the middle of the night. I lived in Vermont for five years. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's completely different than being in the daytime. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. And I'm willing to do it if you guys are, but we're going to keep, if they, if we're allowed to do it, I want to do it in pairs of two, because mm. I think we're all going to do a fucking thing myself. I'm going to tell you that <laughs> yeah. um, So, I mean, if anything does come back in those recordings, it would be interesting because you always have, I, I mean, you can say I am too a skeptic. You It's like, ghost this one thing, believing in heaven, hell is a whole different thing. Like having some type of evidence that we see right there in front of us yeah. in some way, shape, or form could be like, holy shit, this could be groundbreaking compared to like just watching it on TV or something. You know what I mean? You see people go out and do this and like in the back of my head, I don't know about you, Joey, but because of the fact that we come from video production, we're like, yeah, I don't believe any of this shit that do it. All this could be easily be done. You know what I mean? Some of it. Don't forget yeah, it could be falsified. I mean, we're going to be doing a, um, an investigation next door. Mm-hmm. And we got limited time to do that, but I want yeah. to do it at night, mm-hmm. and I want to put whatever we find on the Patreon. Yeah, that's you know. something else. Yeah. So me personally, at least right now, no, I don't believe any of it. Even the, the bronze lady story. That that could be. I won't say fun because I think that'd be fucked up for whoever actually does it. But that would be intriguing to actually investigate if we get the chance. I'm, I'm not going to say I believe, but, you know, if you sit on a lady statue's lap I and can only stare into, well, I think that doesn't matter what time of day either. I think it's just that you have to sit in her lap and then look through that keyhole that's in uh, front of that mausoleum or whatever, and then possibly see a ghost. I think that would be 
really intriguing to investigate. Yeah, sure. And uh, the legend, you think there's any truth to the legend? Yeah. No? No. No, I'll pass on that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I, I'm kind of feeling the same way. Like, obviously, it's a cemetery, so I think there's going to be some ghostly activities to some people. I'm not saying there can never be any, not at all, because, again, a lot of people are dead there, and it's older than, you know, older than, than, than most, most of us, all of us. Uh, so... I, I do think there could be some activity there and have people felt activity or experience activity there, of course. Uh, but the Bronze Lady statue, I don't know. That just seems a little weird because of all the extensive shit you have to go through to just make something happen. Yeah. And then, um, you know, with the little backstory of, uh, uh, of you know, the, the had this horseman, and they gave it a little backstory that could be possible. I mean, who knows? It could be based on some type of freaky story, you know, freaky, you know, something. Time will tell. Not to yeah. interrupt you, but the, if I'm reading this right, the cemetery was 1685, mm -hmm. I guess, established. So that'd be 336 years old. Yeah, you're talking about uh, uh, almost 100 years before the Revolutionary War. Yeah. Yeah, so that that... that place now that that goes all the way before the legend of sleepy hollow was even written so you're talking about real deep like protestant fucking you know haunts. Dutch reformed yeah it's you're talking about like like it's not like salem time the the witch trial time is witch trials same? were uh I, i'm not I'm, I'm, i really don't remember to be honest with you i think it was 1594 or 1694, something like that. I'd have to look look back into my archives and figure it out. That would be 19... Uh, sorry, I read that backwards. 1692 to 1693. Yeah, so you're was talking about the same, same amount of time. You yeah. had the Puritans with witch trials. So who knows? I mean, granted, the Salem witch trials were happening up in Boston. and, and Well, not Boston, but Massachusetts. Who knows what was happening in New York at that time? There could have been some shit like that happening down in, in, in this town. Shit, I mean everywhere, but also I just want to say I was disappointed that a succubus didn't try to seduce me and then bite my head off. Okay, just throwing that out there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, take but, us home, please. Yeah. So uh, this episode and Halloween season for us at Is This Real? Well, Is This Real Green Hour Media? We uh, it's over. So good job, guys, for getting through it. Yay. I know it's just been the three of us for the five Halloween episodes. Hopefully, Wes is back next week. Uh, but uh, next week we are having a vi little video that we um, recorded the other night before the major fucking rain. Uh, it's called. Uh, I'm. I'm. I know they. Well, everyone likes to say it's retrospective. I'm calling it Is Israel Top Secret, and I, I. I love that. I have a little top secret pin that I put it on, on the Is Israel video. Um, but it's called Is Israel Top Secret Confidential. Uh, we are talking about season 4B. We talked a little bit about the Halloween episodes. And we're, uh, I'm sorry, we talked about season 4A, uh, a little bit of ho about the Halloween episodes, and we talked. We're talking about what's co what's going to come in season 4B. Yeah. And that video will be posted probably next Wednesday before we record the first episode. Of season it, it 4B. Kinda, we we actually delved into a kind of um, early stuff too, how we started this thing and. Yeah. And where we want to take it, and you know, it's kind of like a we're sitting down, we're not letting our hair down. No offense to you, Josh, but we're sitting there, and we're just or you, know, you Dad. You know, well, if I have arthritis, he's bald. That's it. <laughs> okay, I love you. Now, wait. So you're telling me it has to be either or? It's either you have to have arthritis or be bald because no. you're kind of lacking on the hair department yourself. Okay, I was gonna be nice, Tubby, but I was, you know, now I'm not. Now, fuck you. Oh, well, you have to get All your right, little All right, folks. Tubby. Good night. Let's go. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm taking over. Okay. It's a coup. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I want to go all... upstairs. I'm already in enough trouble. That's huh? fine. Good for you. Anyway, you have Ooh. to sit there and uh, you know, please go to uh, greenhourmedia.org, and that's where you see your, the multimedia mafia page and the is this real page. You know, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Twitter, I believe you do have it. Like yes, we say this every week, I think you, we do have a Twitter. Yeah, we have a Twitter. You always uh, ask. <laughs> and uh, so, now we have a TikTok too. Not many, not much on here, but I'm working. Yes, on we it. do have a TikTok. Go follow us on TikTok. It is this real? Uh, Patreon, please, please, please subscribe to our Patreon. We are putting more and more stuff up there. The videos we took from Spot uh, Spotify, uh, Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow, will be. 
probably up there, unedited. I'm just going to throw the bitches up there and see if people can, or the person, Sir Alex, for right now, can <laughs> uh, view you know, what we see and stuff like that. We also have the high point with Wes. That's more episodes are coming. And, uh, we had a couple little episodes about, uh, you know, different little Halloween stuff that me and, uh, Josh did, uh, go to our Etsy page. Dad's selling his mugs. And this Saturday, Dad will... No, you're not doing it? No, it got canceled again. Oh, well, it got canceled again, fellas. So, All right. Well, well actually, about, when this posts, it <clears throat> won't be... You well, can't... It'll, yeah, it'll be it after. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. never mind. Uh, well, real quick before we sign off, I just personally want to give a shout out to Ruby from Sopranos because I worked out the deal with her. Dad, that was a great little commercial you did when we came back from the break. I want to thank her because I actually worked up the courage to ask her about it. I didn't realize she was the owner of Sopranos. So I took a shot, and I said, screw it, and it worked out. So I just want to say thank you. Um, hopefully you listen to an episode. I'll probably find a way to get you to listen, and uh, hopefully we can work something else out. It definitely is a good pizzeria. I go there myself after Yeah, I've work. had the pizza. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's. It, I love their pizza. I really do. It's one of the best pizza joints I've been to. So I just wanted to say thank you again, uh, Ruby. Ch- uh, huge shout out to you and the pizzeria. So. Yep. So just, uh, again, go to our Etsy, buy our mugs, buy our shit. You know, Halloween stuff is coming to an end. Uh, Dad, are you gonna have any uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas sales? Or uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, post. We're gonna do the Black Friday sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's coming up um, from now till till then. Um, if they check in on on the Is This Real? Not so much the Is This Real page, but on my personal on my Etsy, we're doing a Halloween mug special, half price. Um, yeah, when you they hear were, this they were, Sunday, that's going to end Sunday, right? Right, they were Halloween. $6, so you can pick them up now for 3 plus shipping. Shipping's always minimal. And I also have a couple people talk to me about mugs they want to do. But uh, again, so thank you guys for listening. We'll catch you next week at the start of Season 4B when we get back in to our government conspiracy episodes. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, everyone. And remember, everybody question everything. Good night, guys. Konnichiwa, bitches. It's Ryu West speaking. If you want to find out more about the Is This Real podcast, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash is this real PC or on Twitter at is this real PC or on Instagram at is this real podcast, all one word. <laughs>